Guys, I'm with my buddy Miguel here on Chub K. He's giving us a, uh, an exclusive private tour of the island. He's going to show us the airport. He's going to show us uh, a little private beach that's up on the uh, far reaches of the island. And he's going to show us the island's solar farm. Yes, we right. just learned that. What, what's special about this island relative to solar? Um, basically, it's just that everything just runs off this. Mother Nature. Everything. Yeah. Do you have any power plants, gen diesel generators? Um, no kind of generators, nothing at all. It's 100% solar. All of it's 100% solar. That is unbelievable. And you have a marina, you have a restaurant, you have a tiki bar, you yeah. have buildings everywhere. Yeah, we got farms. Farms. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but Turtle Creek. Turtle Creek, yeah, we've heard of it. Well, um, Sean told us about it. Turtle Creek is, is like one of the main attractions. Like when everybody comes here, they want to go to Turtle Creek to see the turtles. Interesting. You know, and then... Uh, we got plenty of nice beaches, a, a lot of nice beaches. But the, the idea that this massive island runs on solar alone is fascinating, huh? Yeah. Well, that's the first thing I'm going to show you right now. Well, we look forward to it. Thank you, Miguel. Just at the end of the, the, the tourists. Okay, so the workers all live in these cottages? Yes, sir. Very cool. There's a few more. Then we got a nice, we got a little basketball court. Wow. We have a gym. We'll show you the gym. Man, this is unbelievable. Okay, so what's back there? There's a gym back there? Yes, sir. Very cool. This is a water, water farm and diesel. Yes. Oh my gosh. So now, is all of your water, is it reverse osmosis? Yes, sir. So, um, you have a, a pickup that's in the ocean somewhere, and you're just uh, making water the way we make water on our boat, on a big scale, though. Right. These are our most warehouses. This is a warehouse here? Yes, sir. Now, what is all that piping? Is that... Um, so, that's, that actually has a lot to do with the most of the water circulation. I see. Okay. And purifying of it. I see. Amazing. And so this here is the solar farm here, huh? Yes, sir. Miguel? All right. And there are just solar panels as far as the eye can see. This is unbelievable. Now, we totally understand that Miguel can't get too, too close to this equipment here. Um, but he's, he's bringing us as close as he can. And this is just absolutely remarkable. The idea that you can run this entire island off of the sun is extremely uh, amazing. How it runs. Chucky is... Uh, it's like it, one of the most exclusive places. Like, the people like to come to the Bahamas and see, like, the solo plant. The, that's the sea, like, wow. Interesting. It's it's just solo panels. Like, the whole island, you know, you got, like, you got the whole hotel, you got the restaurants, okay. you got the fuel station. Everything. You get everything. When you flip on any switch on this entire island, whether it's a fuel pump um, or uh, the light switches or the pool circulation pump, it's all coming from the sun here. Right, right, yeah. Isn't that just amazing? It takes, I mean, we we have solar on our boat and we feel like it's just magic in a way. You know, it's like we, every time we turn on a switch, we're like, I can't believe that the sun is doing this. I know, right? And this is just on a mega, mega scale. So, Miguel, what is this, uh, this big huge multi-bay garage building here. So there are storages, right? So these are storages. Okay. You, know, you got folks, they come down, they, they bring multiple boats, vehicles, okay. you know, jet skiers, and this is where they can actually store their things. Okay. So whenever they come back, it won't be like, oh, I have to bring my jet ski with me when I go to the Bahamas. So what, kind of, a, what kind of a person gets to store their boat here? Um, is it like an owner or a, uh, a tenant or yeah. like if I come in on my on my boat, can I leave my yes, jet skis sir. here? Yes, sir. I can just leave them here. Leave them right here. And this is a rental oh, fee. Shit. I rent the, the bay from you, and I can put whatever I want in there. Automatic. I got to store all my kids in there if I wanted to. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and what's this here, uh, Miguel? It's the coconut farm. The coconut farm. And what what do you use the coconuts for? I mean, this is a um, huge farm. We don't need to really walk. I mean, we just kind of want to get an idea or just right. a, a drive up and down the lane or whatever. So as you can see, most of these are coconut trees. Yep. Um, some of them have coconut on them. The coconuts are ripe. They're already ripe? Yeah. So 
What is a ripe coconut? Is it a green one like that? So that one, they look smaller. Those are smaller. So these ones are more ripe. Okay. Can we pick one? Yeah, if you want. So this is how you take a coconut off a coconut tree. Yeah, let's see. You twist it. Look at that. And is that ready to drink the milk? Yes, sir. Is it? Not Jelly, everything is inside. It's a full grown coconut. That's These a are not actually Bohemian coconut trees. These okay. are American coconut trees. Interesting. That's the reason why they don't get no taller. So, oh. So I'm glad you see it so I can show you the difference. So this here is an American coconut tree. These only get like six to seven feet tall, the most. Wow. Versus the, the natural Bohemian coconut tree, what can get like Almost 20 feet, 30 to 50 feet in the air, man. Because sometimes you'll see the really, really I tall know, ones yeah, that, that, that's, that, that's, that, that's... And this, that. and this, so this color here has got a bit of, it's green, but it's got and like a reddish orange, tint, right. orange, so and that's really ready cool. to go. Right. We didn't see, we never knew that. <laughs> and we just, you know, oh, that's so cool. We're looking forward to taking a sip of this. Yeah, I wish I had some. Let me get one more. Oh, what a guy. So you know what we do with the, you know what we do with the water? What do you do? We make something we call sky juice. Okay. You use the water. Um, it depends on how much gallons that you're using. Yep. Like maybe a five gallon. Then you get you, you, you can put like vodka, um, gin, and then a little bit of sea cream. So it's like um it, it's like a milky beverage. Interesting. Yeah, it's like a milk. And milk you make that right on site here. Right. Thank you, Miguel. That's terrific. All right. Okay, so that so this is all the small coconut trees right. that you're planting. So these are the ones that they that, that, that they're planting now. Awesome. That's a that's these ones are sour trees. So these where you get your sour, your lemon, your oh, lime. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. Lime trees. <laughs> this is quite the operation. All this heavy equipment, cabinet shop, carpentry shop, mechanics shop. Bulldozers and excavators and skid steers and tractors everywhere. What do you think of this, guys? It's pretty self-sustaining. So you're going to take us to... Uh, we're, going to, we're going to go to the most beautiful part of the island now. Awesome. And what is that, Miguel? So that's, that's like, that's past, like we heard, like Turtle Creek. Oh, Turtle Creek. Yes. How about the airport? Is that nearby, too? Yeah, we're going to pass the airport. Oh, first. yeah. That, you know, guys... You go, guys, from the uh, from a couple of years ago on the channel. The airport is where it's really at, right? All right. So the uh, the houses that are up on this road are all privately owned, yes, sir. as I understand it. Very interesting. Now, are these oceanside houses? Oceanside. They are. You can buy the property. You can meet the Escobars. You can meet the Escobars. <laughs> this island just never seems to end, Miguel. <laughs> All right, this is really interesting, Miguel. So what is this? This is a... Uh... It's a creek. Okay. It's a natural creek, but when the tide goes out, it's dry. Interesting. So we're at low tide right now. We're at a low tide right now. And then this will all fill in and be very marshy and... When the tide comes in. Interesting. That goes to the beach? Yep. Yeah. like off-roading, huh? <laughs> it's quite a property though, huh? It is. That's really neat. Well, probably more like a cabin. Yeah. So what are we coming up on here, Miguel? So right now we're heading to Turtle Creek. Turtle Creek. Wow. Look at this place. Holy moly. Isn't this something else? Wow. So you can see some famous turtles. Holy moly, this place is unbelievable. What do you think of this, guys? Miguel, 
do people take their dinghies up here through here yes sir but mostly on like a high tide on high tide yep because it is shallow So I guess a lot of flights come in from Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Direct flights. That means that this is an international airport. Yes, <laughs> and this here is the runway threshold. Right here is where the runway starts. All right, here we are on the runway. Very cool. So from your opinion, how long do you think it is? Look at from young. Um, probably 3,000 feet. Yeah, half of a nautical mile. So far, they clean like just the land. It has to be that long, right? It must be a little longer than that. I don't know what that plane is exactly, but uh, it's got to be three to, four, let's say, three, three to four thousand feet long. Okay. That plane can definitely land in four thousand feet. International Airport. <laughs> All in beer. What's that there? Uh, oh, Chub K Chapel. Oh, that's so cool. Well, thank you so much, Miguel. Our tour of Chub K, exclusive tour of Chub K, is uh, is drawing to a close. Is there anything you want to tell anybody about what you're up to and uh, and uh, anything you want to just put out there? Um. Anytime you guys want to come to the Bahamas, you're always welcome. We have a lot of great things to do, you know, especially swimming, beautiful waters. Um, that's basically it. Well, we appreciate everything you've done you know, for you're us. You're always welcome. You're always welcome. Thank you so much, my friend. All right, we're gonna get a little special treat. What are you gonna What are you gonna show us here, Miguel? So I'm gonna show you guys how to open them. Okay. You got some nice water you can put them in a container too excellent you know, put them on, put some ice to make sure it's nice and cool nice and cool yeah you guys are gonna like this coconut all right water. let's do this we love coconut water. we'll bring them down to the boat want to carry one buddy mm -hmm. hey that coconut's as big as your head That's not. A little coconut head <laughs> same shape too All right, here's the, uh... oh, nice well, it doesn't get much use. Daddy, I want to get yeah. All righty. That's, that's a few ways you can, you can open a coconut. Okay. Um, my favorite way is to take off the three ends. Okay. All right, so I'll show you. Interesting. Don't want to cut it too much then. We're getting to the center. I see the juice. The juice. <laughs> Getting a little hole there, I see it. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Look at that. We got coconut juice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that looks good. Take a sip, Griffy. Take a sip. So watch your feet, Lewis. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
Right? So I'm that's, a sour flavor. That's one way. Ooh. Whoa! Be. You need a it's too. fresh. Is it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fresh. <laughs> Definitely better than the last one. Oh, Mmm. <laughs> Amazing, Julie. It's delicious. Yeah, get some straws. All right, well, that's an awesome technique. You gotta kind of watch your fingers out, imagine, right? Yeah. <laughs> Big time. And then most people would normally just take off the sides. Okay. Until you reach. But you see this right here? Yes. What's that, bud? Like this red shop. <laughs> the knife? Yeah, I ain't even really chopping. <laughs> Here, try a sip, Julie. I want the green. Got it. Can I have the red, Mama? Second cup of red. I want the red. I want the yellow. The yellow? I think we should, like Miguel said, we should put it on ice. Yeah, careful, buddy. Yeah, you can, you can pour it in a container. Or, you know. Let's do that, Julie. Yeah, so. Can I try some? Yeah. Awesome. Amazing, huh? Well, Miguel, thank you so much again. We really appreciate your amazing hospitality. We went above and beyond. <laughs> thank you, man. You want this next one open, or you guys want to save it? We're gonna save it. We'll we'll practice on that on our own. Yeah. Well, man, thank you so much. Much appreciated. What a guy. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Well, we enjoyed it a lot. How long are you up for again? Well, we were gonna leave today. Now we're leaving tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Well, You'll be here tomorrow. I'll see you until seven. So I'm working till seven. Oh, okay. So I'll be around. You guys can see me. All right. Um, I oh. guess I guess later. Yeah. If you guys wanna get a feel of the goose stuff. Oh. You know. Oh yeah, we, we were thinking about that. I could. So I, 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 I'm, I think I could get you guys a ride there. Oh boy, that, this. let me know. So the rooster opens at I think, I think it's three. They open up. They open up at three. What time do they close? They close at twelve. Midnight. Midnight. So maybe we could go at like after dinner. Yeah, after dinner. That's, yeah, that's, that's awesome. a good time. Yeah. yeah. Now, let me just finish the video so that and then I'll uh, and then I'll uh, get your number. Okay. okay. Well, guys, that's a wrap. And as always, you never know what you're going to get on Airspeed Adventures here. Um, but this time we were really fortunate to have such a gracious host to give us such a private and exclusive tour of Chub K Resort. Um, you can see all of the marina complex behind me and it's quite an operation and Miguel was kind enough to take this a significant amount of his, uh, of his morning uh, for us. Uh, for more of this type of uh, content, we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Leave us comments, tell us how we're doing. And uh, we'll see you on the next Airspeed Adventure. Thanks again.